Proper skin preparation lowers the potential for infection during surgical procedures. The area prepped must be at least 2 inches beyond the surgical field or the area exposed by drapes. The basic skin prep consists of three steps, shaving if necessary, scrubbing and rinsing with an antiseptic soap, and applying antiseptic to the surgical area. The materials you'll need for this procedure are a shave prep kit which includes a razor if needed, a sterile basin pack, a sterile surgical scrub sponge, patient gown, sterile 4x4 gauze pads, sterile sponge forceps and sterile sponges, mayo stand or side tray, sterile water or saline, waste receptacle, sterile gloves, sterile towels, antiseptic solution, and the patient's chart. Unwrap the outer wraps of all packs. Be sure not to touch the interior of any sterile wrapped items. Following correct technique for pouring liquids in a sterile field, pour germicidal solution into one basin or cup and sterile water or saline into the second basin. Escort the patient to the treatment room and verify identity. Explain to the patient that the prepping procedure reduces the risk for infection by setting up a sterile surgical field. Instruct the patient not to touch the prepped area once you've finished. Instruct the patient to void if necessary. Have the patient remove appropriate clothing and put on a patient gown until it is time for positioning and draping. Wash your hands and apply non-sterile gloves. Position the patient, remove the gown as necessary, and place a non-sterile drape or towel under the patient. You may need to shave the area before it is surgically scrubbed. If so, begin by pouring sterile water into a basin and adding some germicidal solution. Apply the solution to the area with a sponge or gauze. Outside the sterile field, pick up the razor. Pull the skin gently taut at the surgical site. Shave in the direction of hair growth. Dampen a gauze pad with sterile water and wipe the area clean with a circular motion. Dry the area with a second gauze or towel. With the shaving complete, wash your hands again and don sterile gloves. Scrub the patient's skin with a surgical scrub sponge. The surgical scrub sponge is pre-prepped with a soap solution. Scrub the skin in a circular motion starting at the center of the surgical site and moving outward. Working in concentric circles from the center outward removes microorganisms from the immediate surgical area. The circles should not overlap each other or repeat over the same area. Should the prep area be a hand or foot, the entire appendage must be cleansed, particularly between the fingers or toes, to remove microorganisms from crevices or folds. Rinse the area in the same circular manner with a sterile sponge or gauze. Allow the area to air dry. Apply germicidal solution in concentric circles with a sterile sponge or cotton-tipped applicator. It is important to confirm that the patient is not allergic to iodine solutions before applying. After allowing the prep area to completely air dry, drape 3 to 5 inches above and below the surgical site with sterile towels. Cover the area with a fenestrated drape 
leaving only the surgical area exposed. Drape the prepared surgical site with a sterile towel. If the patient must be left unattended at any time after the surgical scrub, another medical assistant or scrub float will need to cover the prepped area with a sterile towel. Dispose of contaminated supplies and instruments. This keeps the procedure area organized and the clean, dirty, and sterile areas defined. After the procedure, remove your gloves, wash your hands, and document the scrub procedure with patient education notes.